In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a luxury wedding invitation card like this in Photoshop. And this is coming up. Hi everybody, Innocent here. Welcome to the channel. Over here, we make videos like this. If that is something that sounds like you're interested, kindly consider subscribing. Inside the description of this video will be a link to download all the resources that I'll be using. If you want to practice this, you can head over to my website, download a resource, and then you can practice. In case you do and you want to show it up to me, you can hit me up on Instagram or on Twitter, and then we can get the conversation going. Now let's get into Photoshop and let's get started. I'm going to make use of Photoshop 2021, but this should work with any version that you are using. The first thing we need to do is we need to create a new document for our project. So you can go to file or control n to create a new document in this case i'm going to use the size a5 so i'll select a5 i want it in the portrait form and then i'll click on create so the colors that we will be using for this project is purple so we're going to use a different variations of purple and then gold and white okay so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a solid color to this background so to do that, you head over to your layer adjustment fill over here. You left click on that and then you can choose solid color. Now you can use any of this shade of purple like I said, depending on how you want it. I've already set the color over here. So this is the hex code in case you want to use the same thing. Now we can go ahead and click OK. Next up, we need to add a rectangle. So I'll go ahead and select my rectangle tool over here and then I can create a rectangle of any size depending on how you want it you can create a rectangle of any size at all and now i'm going to give it a different color so i'll double click on the layer thumbnail over here and then i'm going to choose the second color which i set to this particular color so you see that this is also a shade of purple the first one that we used was like a very black one or dark one and this is a popping purple so we can go ahead and then click on okay and then you can take your time to position this to any side that you want now between these two you want to bring something so on top of the solid color and underneath of the rectangle that we added so we're going to select the solid color go to our resource or file and then place embedded and then we can add this luxury golden mandala design so we're going to double click on that and i got this from png wing so if you want to download it i made a video on how to do that next up you're going to press ctrl t to transform this so that it becomes quite smaller it doesn't have to be that very bigger and afterwards you can press ctrl a and make sure that you center it vertically so that you can have it in the middle of your document now right on top of this we go back into our resource and then we have a pattern over there so this is something random that i downloaded from the internet so you're going to open that also onto your rectangle once it opens you're going to right click and then you can flip it anyhow you want it so in this case i want to flip it or rotate it 90 clockwise and then i want it to cover the entire rectangle over here so i can open it up or stretch it from the diagonal edges like that and then i can position it right on top of the rectangle now at this point you can realize that it is filling the entire rectangle so to make it even more easier for me i can right click and create a clipping mask the, what this is going to do is it is going to go right inside the rectangle that we created the next thing we're going to do is we're going to set the blend mode over here to a different one so instead of the normal you can choose any one of these that fits you the best the best that worked for me was between the overlay and then the soft lights right away so you can choose any one of them that works well for you so in this case i'm going to go for the soft light over here as it works well for me now i can even go back to the luxury mandala here and then i can close it up a little because it looks a bit big for me and then you take your time to position it as you want to now after this on this rectangle we're going to right click and go to the blending options and then we can choose a drop shadow for this one so that there will be that effect over there and you can click ok and these two can even come to the left side a little bit like that so that we have a bit of space to create or put the test that we want to put 
over here the next thing we're going to do on top of this one you are going to add a golden bar that i got randomly from the internet as well so you go to place embedded and then you can have your golden bar or your golden line over here you double click on that and then you can place it right over here so it has to be at the very edge of the line or the rectangle so that it can display very nicely and neatly like that and once we're done with this we can then go ahead and add our test so i've already typed the test i'm going to just be copying and pasting you just need to grab the concept and then we'll be good to go the first one that we're going to use is called trajan pro so i'm going to select my test and then i'm going to type whatever i want to type over there so in this case the first thing we put in over here is the families of and then you can take your time to make sure that it is centered and it looks nice over here so you can bring it over here we are going to make a duplicate by pressing ctrl j and drag it down a little bit underneath of it and then we can put in the other information over there so the first information is going to be the groom's father's name and then the bride's father's name i intentionally left it like this so that i wouldn't actually use any but this was done for someone actually so you hit enter and then you can put the ambassador sign over there and then you're going to bring the bright the bright father's name and the bright mother's name so you can neatly have that also over here all right so this looks cool for me so you're going to make one more duplicate drag it slightly over here and then you can add whatever the invitation the kind of invitation that you're giving to them so in this case we are inviting them to celebrate with us so we can type something like gladly invite you to witness there and that we are going to bring if it is a wedding if it is a traditional marriage you can then bring it next over here okay so it depends on the type of rite or the type of ceremony that you are performing in this case it is a solemnization of holy matrimony that brings us to the second font that we are going to use so i choose my test tool t for the shortcut and then i'll type over here and then i can change this font to a font called olympic branding links to all these fonts will be in the description so you can check them out so that you can make use of all of these so, so i'm going to paste that over here as well i'm going to select all of that you can realize from here that i've been typing or i've been using all caps from the top to the middle section here so i can go to the toggle character and uncheck this double t so that i can have small letters or i can type in small letters in this case i'll press ctrl t and then i can transform it to make it a bit bigger like this you realize that the test is too closed and that is because the tracking over here is set to minus 40 so i can select that and set it to zero so that i can have a bit of space and you can see also that there is a lot of space in between the top and the down here so i can reduce the leading also slightly so i can reduce this slightly like that according to how you want it okay so something like this works fine and then i can press ctrl t and transform it a little bigger like that once i have this i just need to make sure that my font is well positioned and it is in the middle and we are good to go now remember that i told you we're using gold and then the purple shade of colors and white for this design so let's add a bit of gold to this to do that select the the layer over here right click on it and go to blending options once you are there you can go to the gradient overlay and then you can go and select your gradient i've already set the gradient this is the gradient that i'm using in one of my previous videos i talked about gradient as a full topic how you can download external gradient and install it in your photoshop this is from one of the gradients that are downloaded the golden pack gradient Leave the link in the description on how to download the golden gradient as well so you check that and then you can download this gradient and then you can click ok from here we can duplicate this same golden gradient onto the families of so what you can do is you can right click go to copy layer style and then you can select that family of right click on it and go to paste layer style so what it is going to do is it will take the effect the gradient effect on this test and then it will put it on the test that you asked it to put it on now once you're done with that we can make one more duplicate of gladly invite you and then we can bring it over here so who are the people that are getting married so this is where 
the names of the bride and then the groom comes in. so we say gladly invite you to witness the solemnization of holy matrimony between their son and daughter so this test right over here will read between their son and daughter like that and then the couple's name can come underneath of this one if you are designing this for yourself you can put you and your husband or your your wife's name over there or if you are doing it for the clients you can put their names over here all right so for the first names you're going to use a font called creation demo for the creation the t is double t so you're going to type in creation demo links to download it will be in the description so you're going to type the first name and this name is going to be let me use dixon for instance so we're going to type dixon over here press ctrl t and then you can open it up like that and you can position it somewhere around here now for the first names we want to add this golden effect to it as well so let's push the between their son and daughter up a little bit like that and then we can also hold alt and drag this effects onto the dixon so that it applies the effect on it or better still we can add another shade of gold or another type of gold gradient onto this name so we double click on the fx over here we go to gradient overlay and then we can select our gradient and this is another shade of the gold so you can see this one over here or even this one so i want this one actually we can click ok when you're done and click ok from here so let's say this is the first name the second name or the family name is going to be something like family name so family name and then we are going to change that font back to trajan pro so trajan pro right over here or you can even use the bold if you want to and that color is going to remain the white you can press ctrl t and transform it if the name is too much for you and then you can take your time to position it now let's group this two so the family name and then the first name dexin so we group that ctrl g to do that and then we can press ctrl j to make a duplicate drag it to the extreme right side over here and then you are going to change that into the lady's name so let's choose say deborah for the lady's name so deborah and the other name is also going to be the family name now i realize that this is almost taking the whole page where we have the date and other portions to do with this so we can select all the test for instance so let me select from the top here to the families and we can group that ctrl g to group that and then you can close it up a little like that okay and then you can try to center it a bit as well afterwards you can open it and then continue from where you left so deborah and we need an amber sign or an end over here is it a number sign so let's type in this one over here so deborah and or dixon and deborah so we can bring that over here my mouse is really messing up and then we can open it up like that and take our time to position it to this side the next thing is going to be the date the time and the venue for that we're going to go for our favorite if you've been here for a while you know that poppins is the favorite font on this channel so let's go for poppins but the fact that i've been using poppins or oh, somebody i remember somebody telling me that i like using poppins the fact that i've been using poppins over and over doesn't mean you have to you can try different fonts explore different fonts as well it looks very simple and plain for me and you can see that's why i like using it so you can select that change the tracking to minus 40 back to minus 40 and then you can paste our date time and venue over there so for this one we can increase the leading also to about 15 so you can position it somewhere around here what you can do over here is you can separate the date the time and the location from the rest of the information so let's say location for instance we make it capitals and then we can select let's say the date and change it to a golden type of color or a golden yellowish type of color we can pick something from here okay so from the mandala sign oops it's not really working so we can come over here and choose a color from this side okay so the shade a shade of gold in this one 
you can copy that color code or the hex code by copying this one click ok and then you can do that for the rest so the venue the location and then the time now we can even open the tracking a little to 18 and click ok and this looks fine the last test that we will add is the rsvp so for that we're going to type the rsvp over here rsvp and we are going to change that, that font to a font called agency so agency bold and then we can bring it in the middle over here and now we can add this effect so this particular effect the golden effect that we added to the solemnization we can add it to the rsvp and our test is going to be the rsvp that we choose so in this case let me put my number there so innocent k button and for that i'm going to change the font to my dear poppins bold or poppins medium and then i'm going to right click on that and um, copy that innocent k button and go to clearly style so that i will have this back to a color and give it a color white and then i can click ok now from here you'd realize that this part or this portion is so close to the bottom so we can close the group again or you close the group and then you can press ctrl a and make sure that this is centered vertically so that it will be in the middle all right so something like this should be fine now, i remember i told you from the beginning that we are doing something luxury so we need something to complement this so when you go to open so ctrl o and then we open our resource file we have a couple of these things here there's a png that i got from png ring also so you can select any one of these and then put it in there so we are going to place one in between the families and the grooms um, the parents names and in between the bride's name and the date okay so for me i decided to go with the second one you can choose anyone and let me know how it comes out so you can choose your rectangular market to make a selection and press ctrl j to copy that or duplicate it and then you can send it inside of your project now you realize that this is also or this has a shade of gold and that makes it very useful for our project okay so when trying to make these kind of designs you try to work according to the colors that you decided to go with so you can take your time to transform it you can zoom in if you want to or if they need be press ctrl t transform it very nicely and place it and then i can make one more duplicate so to make sure i'm in a safe place let me bring it inside the group over here and then i'll make a duplicate control plus j and then i can bring it down over here so i'll leave it right over here like that and from there i can push my rsvp a little bit down and push this rsvp also here a little bit down and for the rsvps mostly you try to add the numbers so this is the number in case you want to reach out and then you can press ctrl t take your time to transform this and you are good to go now we want to bring a little bit of light over here so that it can pop out so on top of this pattern that we put into the rectangle you can create a new layer on top of it and then you can choose any color that you want but make sure that it is in there in the confinement of the purple or the colors that you're using so you can choose any one of them and then you choose your brush to so b for the brush to right click on it and make sure that your hardness is set to zero percent and then you increase your size a little bit and you can make a one left click over there after that go to the blend mode over here and set your blend mode to screen now you can reduce the opacity a little bit if you don't want it to brighten that more so something like this can be fine and if you turn it off you can see the difference that it has created over there you can as well try with different colors if it matches with your design and just like that you create a very nice luxury type of invitation for your wedding or for your client i'll be getting something out of this video if you did a subscribe to the channel will be so very luxurious don't forget that links to download all the resources that i used in this video plus the fonts and any other thing that you need to make this 
will be in the description so you can click on that or you can head straight to my website and download it from there thank you so very much for sticking around to watch this video i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye